So before we start today's adventure, I have a quick announcement for y'all. For the last few months, I've been thinking about creating a step-by-step -step online resource teaching people about metal detecting. There's so much I can cover though. So in order for the content to really serve you well, I'm gonna need you to fill out a survey. It's very short. I have it linked in the video description below. If you could click on the link and fill out that survey, I would really appreciate it. Thank y'all very much and enjoy the video. Yeah. So I'm out here this morning getting ready to do some digging. We're at an old house site. Dates back to the mid 1800s. Just want to show you all the well. Let's open it up. Oh wow, looks pretty dark. Let's see if I have a light on me. Whoa, man, that is crazy. Looks like a hundred feet deep. <laughs> I may have to put my magnet down there later. Come here, buddy. I've had people. Yeah. Now calm down. No fighting. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> First signal of the day right here, showing up in the high 80s, low 90s, could be something good. Let's dig it out and see. Nice dirt. I'm in the man's garden, so he plows this up every year. Still in there. Big, whatever it is. Oh, no way, it's a coin. What do we have here? A modern quarter. <laughs> That's funny. Still, 25 cents. We'll take that any day. On to the next one. Good boy. I just found something of interest here. It's a wheat penny. It was in the plug. Looks like it has a year 1930, maybe 36 it looks like. That's pretty cool. That's better than nothing. Pretty big tree. There ought to be some old coins around here. Been there a long time. Getting ready to saw some boards. Been in here working today. Haven't done a whole lot of detecting. <laughs> this is an old workshop. All types of tools in here. I probably did some blacksmithing. Good, good stuff right here. I wanted to show y'all what this eyeball right there. Under this here. That's an old insulator. It's still on the post, too. Looks like it says Whittail. Made in USA. That's cool. Nice find right there. See, they, they screwed on. I'd love to have this. This is a nice little trunk. But look at all the markings on it and all the years. Very nice. Probably a snake in there. Look, here's an old saw handle. Nicely engraved. You know what that is? It's a big old weight, probably window weight. Some type of weight. The landowner told me to come on in here and just piddle around, see if I can find anything. He has no 
interest in any of this. You know, this is right up my alley. <laughs> Look, here's like a box. Stuff in. Ooh, a lot of dust in here. I'm going to sneeze. Clamps. Different odds and ends. A little button in there. Gum turpentine. <laughs> it's still got something in there. An old jug. Box of bottles right there. Bunch of bricks and rocks. Let me get down here. See if there's anything good. Just beers and maybe a few sodas. Hmm. One of these may have something cool in it. An old hook off a single tree. Saw blade. That's unreal. Didn't notice that. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to still work. <laughs> Some type of drill, I reckon. A little bit of heavy duty. Put you a bit in there. My hand. I believe that's what it is. Wow. See that? That right there was mixed in of all the iron junk. That is a belt keeper off of a military buckle. Looks like Civil War. So we need to keep looking in this box right here. See if we find any more. All it takes is something to be mixed in. Most people don't spend the time to look through this stuff. Look at this. Some type of thingamabobber there. Alright, I'm about to dump this out in a minute. We'll sift through it. I got my sifter in the truck. Here's a brass ring off something. Yeah, let's keep looking through here. All it, all it takes is one thing to be this place. I just found that right there. It says Model C right on the front. So probably off of a Model C Ford. Not sure what piece though. We'll take it. That's a weird piece right there. I don't see any brass in this batch. Maybe small stuff went through. Old square nail. All right. Let's keep on going. Get this good stuff out the bottom. All right. Got some heavy stuff in here. It's a nice piece. All the dust is stirred up now. I want to find the rest of the buckle. <laughs> it's music! I'll spread it out so you can get an idea. Oh, look at this. This one little thing almost got away. It's just a piece of leather. It has like a brass rivet in there with a decorative design. Kind of cool. Is 
that brass? It's so hard to tell. It's very dark in here. That may be brass. It feels like iron though. Alright. Let's keep on looking. Hinges. We have bolts. We have broken locks. We have round nails. We have cut nails. Oh, here's a brass buckle. Wow. There's all kinds of stuff in this batch. We're doing good. It's probably about 1930s. Somewhere in there. I'm on relic mode now. My eyes are tuned in. And I'm ready to find stuff. One man's trash is another man's treasure, as they say. This right here, you see this? To most people, this would look like a piece of junk. But what we have is a nose cap off of a musket. Not sure how old, but pretty old. The key that everybody was looking for, but they never could find it. Here it is. <laughs> this is just so awesome. Like I'm still like in shock because the stuff we're finding is really, really good quality relics. Pretty cool, huh? It's relic art. So I just eyeballed something really good in this box when I was digging through it. And it got partially covered back up. Right there. There's bugs all around it. Do you see it? That is an arrowhead. Beautiful. Out of somebody's collection. And they had it in here. First time it's seen light in who knows how many years. Very nice. What is that? Looks like it might be another point. So this was definitely somebody's collection. It just got mixed in with all this junk. Alright. Last few scoops out of here. I'm hoping we'll find a button. That'd be nice. All the good stuff's at the bottom. Ugh, bugs. That ain't no good. <laughs> They're everywhere. See that right there? It's a buckle. Iron buckle. Pretty cool. Here's a horse buckle off a saddle. Now we're going to take this and we're just going to carefully get it all into the screen. Give it a quick tap. Are in there. <laughs> All this stuff was in that little box. Spider! <laughs> Calm down, it's alright. So that's everything we sifted through. Now you may be able to find something I missed. A lot of stuff there. Years and years of collecting. Pretty sweet. I just found something I missed right there. It's a knife blade. Looks pretty old. That's a very knife. We're still looking in the shed. Now I'm digging through this big old box. Had all my finds laying on top of it a minute ago. Right down here, I found an old railroad spike. That's a smaller one too. Those are hard to find. You don't see many like that. Very nice. Don't worry, there's no snakes in here. I already checked. <laughs> well, we've had an awesome hunt. Found a lot of cool stuff. I did not expect this place to produce this much. Kind of awesome. And there's still so much area I haven't even covered yet. 
But here's my finds. Go ahead and show them to y'all. I may end up coming back to this place later on and doing some more searching. Have the nice arrowhead. Here's another one right there, or maybe a piece of one. We have the belt keeper off a U.S. sword belt buckle from the Civil War. This nose cap off of a rifle. Um, we have some various buckles, different types. Um, a key. The world's smallest screwdriver. Look at that thing. <laughs> Very tiny. i um, not sure what that thing is. It clipped onto something, I reckon. Some more hooks, lead, rivets. This piece of lead has a hole in it. Here's that thing that had a weird design. I'm not exactly sure what, but you can see it there. Um, oh, forgot to mention, I did find this pencil. And it still writes. Man, somebody used that thing for a long time. It was well worth their money. I uh, have the big ring, probably out of a bull's nose or something. Oh, can't forget the knife blade. That's pretty cool. almost forgot about that. Um, we have something off of Model C. The insulator. Nice, clear glass insulator. You don't find too many of them. And I believe that's about it. So, a lot of awesome relics there. Pretty good stuff for just sifting through a, a box of junk. But, you never know. That's why you got to get out there and do it. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank y'all for watching. And God bless.